Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kyle Watts. Today we're going to look at a good option for a key light and or a really good option for a background light, kind of like this one. Stick around. All right guys, welcome back. So for those of you who are new to this channel, we do gear reviews and film tutorials. And if you haven't yet, go down and hit that subscribe button, follow along. All right, you guys, so today we got this item sent to us by the company We Light. So they just sent me the product here for a, a full review. Uh, I'm not being paid for this review, so I'm gonna give you my honest review on this product. But I think this is gonna be a good option for like a good key light for a desk, uh, for you like game streamers, or a really good option to put behind you like, you know, background lights. So let's get this thing open here. Got a few pieces here. The Wii Light Sprite Desk Lamp. This specific kit is a desk mounted clamp or a tripod. Okay, so obviously the first thing we get here is the key light here. Um, so open up. This one is not the kit that comes with two stands and a bag. This is a different kit. This is more of a desk kit. So we have instructions. We have the actual light here. Let's get all this stuff open here. Okay, so in this kit, you get the actual light itself. You get a power supply with the adapter for, looks like, I'm not sure what other version this is, but this is the adapter for the US, US plugins. Looks like it just clips in. And then it comes with this little swivel mount that you can mount on a tripod and then it has the mounts. We'll get into that. First, let's get this out of the way. Uh, it does come with a remote, but the cool thing with this product is it's actually controlled by app as well. Uh, so we'll be downloading the WeLight app and going through it in that way. Um, some people might want to just use the remote to keep it handy, but honestly, I feel like I'd be using the app probably a whole lot more because it's, it's really easy to control. All right, so we got everything out of the box and this shows you what this kit includes. So you're going to get the actual light itself. Uh, you're going to get a desk mount stand, which attaches to the edge of your desk. Uh, and it also extends out like a tripod and then you're gonna get an actual tripod uh, what I like about this light stand though is it folds up this way uh, and it gets kind of compact I bet you could throw this thing in a backpack this whole kit you could put in a backpack if you're gonna go on a shoot or you need some colored background lights key lights so this is kind of a fun little kit to have as a like a traveling kit you get the remote and then you also get the power supply itself so we're gonna plug that sucker in uh, this thing does have the optional to use two batteries. You're gonna be using the Sony like NP batteries. Um, this is like the MP550. You can plug these things in and then it's gonna be battery powered. Really nice. Batteries are not included in this kit so you will have to buy those as separate extra. Uh, and you can get different like the 7, 750s, whatever size, any of the NP batteries will fit. Just a matter how much juice you wanna put in there. All right, so you can control all the settings with the light itself. Uh, you can control the settings with the remote. And then you can also control the settings with the WeLight app. Now, personally, in my opinion, I'm going to be using the app because that's the most easiest thing. I'm going to always have my phone with me. The remote's nice if you're at a desk and you just want to knock down a couple, you know, brightness or something. But for the most part, I'm going to be using this app. Let's get this thing turned on here. So when you first open it up, it's going to pretty much just start to pair, I believe. I didn't have to actually pair anything. When you first open the app, it's going to show um, all the different channels. So you can select the different channels here. It looks like it has one through 19. So if you have a lot of these lights, a lot of Wii Light products, you'll be able to use them all. Uh, my light right now is on channel two, so we're gonna go to channel two. And it's in group A, so you can have different groups as well along the channels. So you can pair a lot of lights, a lot of different Wii Lights with this, which is nice. Because they do make little lights, bigger lights, key lights, ring lights. So you can control them all, uh, or you can set them in groups to control all of them at the same time, which is kind of nice that you can pop in, hit the light, whole studio turns on. Uh, so we're gonna hit that, we're gonna hit okay. Um, and then once you're in here, it's pretty much going to be your power, your saturation, your color tone, so you can just change color off the color wheel. Um, you can go to the white part of the light, so this is going to be a 2500 to I think 8500. Um, I'm not 100% how accurate that color tone is. You will want to white balance that if you're using this as a key light. Probably the best option to do. Otherwise, just make it look where your skin tones look good. Um, you'll just have to guess. 
So I'm at like a 56K on the light that's on here. So yeah, that, that's pretty similar. And on this thing, you do have, I think 260 different LED points, but this thing's bright. Like I'm at 8% and this thing's, this thing's really bright. Maybe almost a little too bright. Anyways, yes, on the light itself, you have all the different quick options. So you have like your 33,000, your 5200, your 55, your 6,000. Now, most of those options I've noticed aren't really gonna do a lot unless you have the percentage higher on the light. So if you get into like the 15, 20% and you start going through these modes, you'll start seeing more of a difference. So you'll see the difference between 8,000 and 3,000, but if you go down to like 2%, that's 3,000 and that's 8,000. It doesn't change much. So you do have to have the power up a little higher for the light to really react. But yeah, if you got this thing at like 10% and maybe 6,000, you can definitely use this as a key light. This is a really strong light. So if you are gonna mount this on your desk using this thing, I would say probably get this thing a little further away from you because uh, this light is pretty bright um, or at least extend it up higher and aim it down at yourself. Um, in fact, let's, let's just, uh, I'm not gonna mount this thing, but let's turn off our main key light and let's put this to like, let's put this to 3%. Lights up at pretty well at 3%. It is kind of a hard light. It's not gonna be as soft as something like a 36 inch softbox. Uh, but definitely you can see I'm getting some shadow behind me. If you get this thing way up top here, you can play with the different light. This is maybe a little too dramatic. And honestly, you might have to just kind of play with the ISO on your camera as well uh, if you want to get the right exposure. So for me, I'm primarily gonna probably use this as a background light or like a hair or edge light. So I will probably be sitting more in the color tone area so we can do some fun colors in the background. And this thing is bright. The light behind me is at 100%. It is another Wii light. It's the uh, Wii light B BP08, I think. This is the Wii light Sprite 20, and this is at 8%. So this just shows you how bright that is compared to the purple one behind me. Um, certain colors are always gonna look a little brighter. I think purple is kind of always a little darker, but you can see when we go to like the gold, if I bring this thing up to 100% like it's going to take over the background quite a bit. That's a that's a real bright light So if you're looking for a background light, I would say get get one or two of these things put them in the corners Light up that background make it more interesting. You can play with the different colors different tones You can even you know put your white balances behind you if you want to like blow out the wall behind you Or you can even do some fun scenes. Uh, the fire one's actually pretty cool like one time at uh, I was doing a video at a camping and the actual fire really wasn't lighting up people well. So I had my little light and I put that on a tripod on the other side of the camera lighting up my friends with the fire mode and it totally sold it. No one would have ever guessed that it was like not a fire. So uh, this thing has like TV mode. Uh, some of these things are probably things that you might not ever use, but it has 29 different functions there. You can change the percent, I don't know how bright everything is. This is supposed to be mimicking like a TV channel that's running in the background. I think some of them are just gonna go through the different tones, the colors, just like most RGBs. Looking for a good affordable light that you can put on a desk that's a good key light. Comes with the desk mount, tripod, 100 bucks. I think this was, it was maybe just a little over $100. I think it's a good option for people who don't have a lot of money to spend on a key light. Uh, definitely a lot of like gamers. It's gonna be a good light for your desk that's gonna be budget friendly. There are some brands out there that are quite a bit more expensive. There aren't gonna be any better than this. Uh, it does have battery options. So for people who are traveling, doing like music videos and things, it's nice to be able to set your, uh, set this thing in like a bag and just set it up real quick and run it on batteries if you need to. So uh, I'd be interested to see how long those batteries actually last at like full power. I would probably guess a half hour to an hour. What I like about it is you can control it on this, the phone and the remote. So no matter where you are, what you're doing, you can always have control over it. It's got a nice little battery lock on it. Uh, and it comes with a little accessory to be able to turn it and uh, adjust it. So it's a great option, you guys. So if you guys are looking in for a, a key light or a background light, the Wii Light Sprite 20 comes with uh, optional desk mount, tripod. You can also get this thing in a two light kit with two tripods that comes in a really nice bag. I think it's like 80 bucks more or something like that. So. I'll leave a link down in the description guys below. 
But all in all, I think this is going to be one that I'm going to be using them quite often in my backgrounds, maybe hair light. So you'll be seeing a lot more colors in my videos coming up soon. So, all right, you guys. So while I get more acquainted with this light, uh, I'll leave a comment down below if anything changes on my opinion on this. I think it's a pretty good solid product to get uh, for your key light or your background. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, feel free and I'll answer it. Uh, while you're down there, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any more gear reviews, other film tutorials, and as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.